we did a epic crown zenith battle and i didn't do so hot well it's time for redemption i have yet another crown zenith etb let's see if i can pull something amazing on my So first of all, I hope everyone enjoyed our Chris and Matt opened Pokemon uh, episode where we opened Crown Zenith from Bros Miss. I thought that was a really fun episode. Although I freely admit we were a little far away from the camera, so you couldn't get the greatest view. That's okay. We're gonna be doing plenty more Crown Zenith openings, so you can expect to have a much closer view. You can see the cards a little bit better, like this one. So for starters, I'm opening ETB. So here's a much closer look of the promotional. Uh, Lucario V-Star card. It looks very nice. I'm going to keep that one in the packaging because I already have one opened. Now, let's go ahead and open up 10 Crown Zenith packs. Maybe today I will pull something crazy. Matt had a ton of really good cards from the packs that he opened up. So hopefully he'll, I'll be able to pull some out of this one. Here is the one for the ETB, by the way, and the uh, I believe that's for the Lucario promotional card. So we're hoping for Galarian Gallery. I'm gonna do a little a little switcheroo. We're gonna move the Galarian Gallery card to the back when we do the card trick because honestly, the the normal rare isn't really the the one you're really hoping for. It's the Galarian Gallery slot. So we're gonna start off with Water Energy. Then we have Crocker Rock, Lunatone. Soul Rock, Cherubi, Execute, Energy Retrieval, Emolga, Love Disc, Gumshoes is the rare, I guess, and we did get a Galarian Gallery Lapras, that's a gorgeous card, glad to add that to my collection, so uh, we got one rare so far, one good pull, a Galarian Gallery Lapras. I'll take it. Uh, I have not pulled a single V-Star from Crown Zenith, which is based on the set V-Star universe in Japan. So it'd be nice to pull some V-Stars, but we'll see if I can actually pull any this time. So we're doing four and then switching. Okay, we have Darkness Like My Soul, which I have a... Uh, textured version of it, which is pretty cool. Lyron, Friends in Sinnoh, A Gloom, A Sun Current, Goffin. We got an Oddish, we got a Salandit, we got an Energy Search, and it looks like I got another textured energy. We have the Fighting Energy this time. And what's behind it? A reverse hollow love disc. So nothing there, but we did get a nice textured fighting energy. I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can actually see the fists on these textured energy cards. They're honestly really cool. I know it's kind of weird to get excited about an energy, but those textured energy cards are really cool. And honestly, I didn't expect us to get them um, in the English set. So we have both those and then there's another set of reverse hollow energies you can also pull. So you have you have lots of things you can uh, try to collect in Crown Zenith, which is pretty awesome. So here's another code card. Uh, all right, four to the front. Then we are doing a reverse. There we go. Okay, grass energy for this one. Let's see, Dusclops, Metang. Energy Switch, Riolu, Starling, Scyther, Young Goose, a Pokeball, the rare is a Tangrowth, did we pull something in Galarian Gallery slot? We did, we got a Drapion V, that's a very nice card, the textured V, alternate art basically. Um, very good. So, uh, we're doing pretty well. We've pulled something in every pack so far. 
We're three for three. We've got an NA textured energy and two Galarian gallery cards. I would love to get a double banger with a V-Star. Maybe two V-Stars. Of course, I mostly, I really want one of the gold cards. I gotta match Matt's gold Giratina. And it's funny because we were joking about the gold Giratina on our way up. And we're like, oh man, it'd be funny if one of us got it. And of course, Matt gets it. So I gotta get one myself. Uh, here is a energy, uh, electric energy. We have friends in Hisui. Carnivine. Rescue Carrier. Yenma. Ponyard. Bidoof. A Potion. A Mr. Mime. The rare is a Zera or a V, so we did get a hit. Did we get a double hit? Uh, kind of. We got a Reverse Hollow Steel Energy. So I don't have any of the, uh, the Reverse Hollow Energies yet, so... Now I have the textured and the reverse hollow steel energy and a Zara Aura. So that was a double pull technically. It's not the most like exciting double pull, but it was a double pull. So we got a V and we got a reverse hollow energy. Okay, I think we got four packs left, something like that. Here's the code card. I'm hoping one of these packs has got to have a crazy card in it. I really hope so. We have fighting energy this time. Kind of like the, the textured energy that we got earlier in the opening. We have a Graveler. A Pokemon Catcher. A Salazzle. A Corefish. A Ponyard. A seal, a rock rough, an A run. We did get a signed bead, so that's a cool one. I'm definitely gonna have that collection. What we get for Galarian Gallery? A hey, Bidoof. So I consider that a nice hit. Uh, the signed trainer cards, like yeah, they're just hollow, regular hollow trader cards, but they're cool because they're signed. And we got a Galarian Gallery card. So this. This box has been on fire so far. We have not had a single pack that hasn't had something good in it. So let's see if that trend continues for the back half of this box. I really hope so, because man, uh, and we haven't pulled a V-Star yet. We still have not pulled a V-Star. So here's hoping, maybe this is the pack that does it. Uh, we have a fire energy, so this pack is gonna be lit. We got a Luxio. A Matang. A Shaman. It would be a Shaman if we didn't pull a V-Star. Execute. A Rock Ruff. A Purloin. A Love Disc. A Chatot. Okay, the rare is a regular Tauros. Is this the first pack where we strike out? No, we got Radiant Charizard. hey -oh, I needed... The Radiant Charizard, and now I got it. Awesome, that's one of the cards I really wanted from the set. We still have four packs, holy crap. This, uh... So that means we pulled something good in six packs in a row. That's really good odds. Insanely good odds, in fact. I hope that these last four parks, th these last four packs are not just busts, because that would kind of be very anticlimactic. But maybe we're not done. We'll see. Psychic energy this time. Maybe this is just like a insane box that has you know poles in every every pack. That'd be that'd be nuts. I love it. Incursion. Rescue carrier. Bisharp. Tangela. Ball toy. Meow. Whalmer. We got a Shinx. The rare is a Luxray, non hollow. And we got a uh, first bust pack. We got trekking shoes and a regular non hollow Luxray. That's not bad. I mean, we've still, we've done very, very well in this box so far. So, you know, having one bust pack is fine. Hopefully, we'll hit on the other three. Um, but we've had a couple double pulls, so that's more than made up for having one bus pack so 
Let's see if uh, the last couple packs are gonna make up for that one. We have regular steel energy. All right, Lunatone, Soul Rock, a Lost Vacuum. Anyone see it? Anyone? A Starly, Scyther, Imulga, a Young Goose, a Cherubi. The rare is a Snorlax, non hollow. Did we get something in the Glaring Gallery slot? No, we got a giraffe rig, non hollow, uh, reverse hollow. All right, well, two bust packs in a row. Again, unfortunate, but we've still done overall pretty well. Still have not pulled a single V star. Not one. I pulled a V, but no V star. Hopefully, this is the pack. Can I have one crazy card? That would be, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we did get the Radiant Charizard, which is a good pull but I really want something just absolutely crazy. That Pikachu card would be amazing. Water Energy, Electric, Ultra Ball, Giraffe Rig, Helioptile, Pancham, Switch, Snow Runt. Larvesta, the rare is a non hollow scissor. Did we get something good? No, we got a reverse hollow Hoopa. So three bust packs in a row. Yikes. Last pack. Will we get some last pack magic or are we getting four dud packs in a row? I really hope there's something here. Because again, we haven't pulled anything insane. We pulled some decent cards, but nothing crazy. So it'd be nice to pull like, you know, a V-Star, please. <laughs> Can I get a single V-Star in this whole thing? We have darkness like my soul. Okay, here we go. Dust Clops. Energy Switch. Cracker Rock. Oddish. Seal. Cricketot. Aaron, Riolu, we got a hollow Calyrex, so nothing really, and then the final card is a Riolu, all right. So it's a Glaring Gallery card. Okay, well we got, we got some decent hits, so let's go ahead and go over everything. I'm gonna try to sort these based on what they are, um, just to kind of give you a basic idea. That's a V, we got a reverse. Energy, that's a V, that's a textured energy, and okay. All right, so here's what we pulled. Uh, first we have our reverse hollow steel energy, which is kind of cool. Not as cool as the textured one, which I do have a textured one of these, but now I have the regular reverse. Then we have the textured fighting energy, so that's a pull. That's a nice one. We do have the autograph bead hollow card, so that's pretty cool. Um, a card I really wanted, and it was the last Radiant card that I needed, was the Radiant Charizard, so I did get that. That's pretty nice, I'll take it. For Galarian Gallery cards, we pulled Bidoof. This absolutely gorgeous Lapras card, I really like Lapras. Um, a Riolu, it's a really nice Riolu card. Uh, then we got a regular Zara Aura V, which is nice. I'm pretty sure the best card we pulled all day is this Drapion V uh, from the Galarian Gallery. It's alternate art, it's textured. It looks really nice. So, yeah, that's what we got from my Crown Zenith solo opening. Was it Redemption? I would say so. Um, I mean, we did really, really well to start, and then we kind of slowed down in the last four packs. We got nothing for three, and then the last one, we did get a Galarian Gallery card. So, overall, we did pull more hits than we didn't, especially when you consider the double packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we pulled nine quote-unquote hits um, out of ten packs. So, that's pretty good. I'd say that's solid. Um, obviously, this is not going to be the end of our Crown Zenith openings. We're going to do plenty more, so just be on the lookout. Um, 
I'm sure Matt and I will do another opening and I'll probably do more openings with other people. Um, but yeah, that's it for this solo adventure where I opened up some Crown Xena. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. Of course, we release new videos on this channel whenever we have them. And we have a lot of older Pokemon content that's going to be coming out. So you might see some kind of weirdly old videos. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I just haven't released. Because uh, we filmed a ton of Pokemon content for the uh, main channel of Big C TV. And just never got around to coming out with it. So now that we have a brand new home for Pokemon on Big C TV... Uh, we'll start releasing it on here. And then, of course, we'll film new stuff with Crown Zenith and other sets. Uh, we're going to go big when Scarlet and Violet Base comes out. So look for that. And uh, who knows? We might do some more challenges as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next Chris Opens Pokemon by himself video. Bye. <laughs>